Awesome. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to do it all in one day, week, or month. You know, so I'm just taking it all in as I can. Um, and just being able to really just get out there and explore, you know, try the different venues that they have to offer here and really just connect with the uh, community as a whole. First time in this stadium for you? you come yeah, first time. First time. I love it. I love it. I can tell right now it's going to be packed as soon as we uh, start, as soon as we just started. Church game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's it like? You, you, everywhere you've played, expectations have always been through the roof. And now you've got everybody in the NFL picking against you guys. How, how do you react to that? I mean, you know, it's fun. I mean, you get to you get a chance to, to be the underdog. And, I mean, when we played Michigan, you know, everybody had Michigan blowing us out and this, this, and that. Um, we were the underdogs in that game. I mean, even though it didn't um, go down the way I wanted it to go down, it was extremely fun to compete and to show the world that, like, hey, like, you know, you guys doubted us. They doubted us against Georgia, you know. So being in the NFL, being doubted is not something that I'm um, new to. Or not something that I'm new to. So, you know, I'm ready to embrace the challenge and keep it rolling. How are things coming with you and Peter? Say again? How are things coming with you and Peter? That's my guy. It's, it's, I laugh about that every single day because, you know, Coach got us sitting next to each other. Uh, 7.30 at night, we always call each other and go over the script for the next day. But it's so funny because I remember when I first started playing tackle, um, I remember looking, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to like sugarcoat it. Like I look at the PFF ranking and it'd be Peter Skarinski at number one when I was a sophomore. So to just see that and then uh, two years later, I'm literally playing next to him, the guy who was rated um, number one tackle coming out, extremely athletic, extreme, extremely gifted and blessed. You know, I just laugh about how small the world is sometimes. So. And you guys have to think that you can be killers kind of for this team for a long time. Right? Absolutely. Just, yes, sir. Is this another one of those moments? that kind of makes that NFL dream become a little more real. You come in the stadium for yeah. the first time? Yeah, definitely. Just getting um, – because, you know, we got we got the turf field in the indoor. So when they told me it was the same field, I was like, okay, I might know how it feels like. And then I get out here and I notice that the turf feels a little different. And then that's why, like, the indoor is one thing. The outdoor gets to see sun, so it's exposed a little bit more. But the feeling of just being here in the NFL stadium means the world to me. Uh, it's great. You know, I mean, quarterback is the most important job on the field. You know, and uh, his job is the hardest. That's why the QBs get the big bucks. His moment's not here yet, but – he, he's a guy that will be there, you know, but first and foremost, just trying to understand the offense and just understanding how to throw passes to each different receiver that's new here, like myself, and just uh, the timing, timing on throws and just, just us being where we need to be. If we get all that uh, down pack and, and we are where we need to be, then, I mean, the sky's the limit. You, uh, you've been here, obviously, several times with the Bengals. What's it like being here? Maybe there's a tight spot out here on the field. And how do you feel like you're setting up? I'm not going to lie, it, it feels a little awkward, you know, because I mean, I've been a Bengal uh, my whole career, but to the past now, now I'm a Titan, and just like I said, man, the, the atmosphere, you know, I'm still getting the love and the support that, 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 that I deserve, you know, and I'm a heck of a player, and um, I'm just here, and, and I'm ready to win. Coming in here today make it feel a little bit more real that that transition has happened, and you are a Titan now? Yes, it did, you know, because what I'm used to, you know, the fans was able to come to the first day one practice, you know, and it, us not having fans, and uh, people come to the practice facility, it just felt like a regular OTA day, you know. But now coming out here, stepping on the field, on the field that I'm going to be playing on for, for next year, um, it, just, it just feels good. You know, it feels natural again. It just feels like, uh, it just feels it just feel love. A lot of back and forth between the two sides today. How do you evaluate the offensive performance? And does it also show you got a ways to go before the Bulls really go for real? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, around the whole perimeter, special team, defense, offense, we all got to work on what we need to work on. You know, uh, we had a great day. Offense, offense made great plays. Defense made their plays. And uh, we still got to work, you know, because we once we go against a team, we're going to see what we're really capable of. So we just keep grounding each and every day and just becoming a tight unit and just building culture and just becoming a more of attached like a family. You know, I think once we start bonding and merging into each other and then it relate to the field, and I mean, it's going to be it's, it's going to be hard to beat us. This is something I'm actually used to, like coming out of practice, having fans here, just giving us a lot of energy. This give us a different type of energy than actually going out and facing each other with no fans. Like. It was a good competitive practice, too. Do you feel like, in a way, you set a tone for what hopefully we see in this building? This oh yeah, year? definitely. I mean, it was a hot one, definitely a hot one. But everybody competing on both sides of the ball. Offense looking way better than it normally has. Defense is coming flying around. And just the plays we got, we got so much coming at you. It's, it's good to get the competition from the offensive side because the offense shows us a lot of things that we'll see throughout the year from Brian Callahan and his offensive genius. Then on the defensive side, we got Denard Wilson. He's going to bring a lot and show a lot on the offensive side of the ball with his defensive uh, genius. So. Uh, Denard's third down genius looked pretty good today. You guys are coming after it in that Oh, period. yeah, definitely coming after We had a little, couple checks for the offense uh, to, get them, to get them, but we got them. Yeah. 
that's my guy. Uh, Jamal, energetic type guy. We almost uh, similar. Um, just he come in, work, great player, uh, locked in on detail, but he gonna come and bring that energy and you gonna him. Who talks more? Me. Um, I've always been pretty confident in myself. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, I mean, there is a piece to it. Once, you, once you're out there and you're doing it, um, and, you know, I mean, everybody has things they can work on. Um, I mean, everybody that's here right now, they want to be here if they weren't supposed to be. So that's kind of how I look at it. And how much juice did these folks give you out here today? It was pretty cool. It was very cool. I appreciate all the fans, whole city of Nashville. Uh, this was a really, like, this wasn't, this hasn't been a thing, I think, they said in the last five years. Um, this was really cool to see. Uh, I was very excited. Ramp up the intensity a little bit more than a regular practice when you have 10,000 people screaming. Yeah, for sure. A little gentleman, um, but it's good. It's good for all of us. So. How much did what you went through last year help you grow as a player and maybe as a person too to be prepared to what you're going to do this year? Yeah. I, my biggest thing last year uh, was injuries and staying healthy. Um, obviously, I missed like what, five or six games. That's, that's been one of my biggest focuses going into this year. Um, keeping my body healthy um, and making sure I'm always ready for the next practice, the next game. So. We always talk about this offense and what it can do for skill position players. As a tight end, do you see a special opportunity in here for a guy like you who can catch the ball? Uh, yeah, um, but there's guys that can contribute all over the field. Um, and I just, I just want to be at the right place at the right time. Um, and hopefully we'll find him. So.